Hey guys, it's Kelsey and back with another scrapbooking process video and today is Stretch the Sketch. So this is a sketch we're using today. It is from Bella Boulevard. Usually when I post these, it has the artist's name on the picture, um, but this one didn't. So I did just add at the bottom there. It's from Bella Boulevard. I am using this white cardstock to create an eight and a half by 11. So I'm squeezing that photo down to uh, eight and a half by 11. And then I'm planning on matting this on the 12 by 12 blue floral cardstock. I really liked this design because it was set up with those horizontal blocks of paper to where I could really easily do color blocking. And since I'm planning on using a lot of different colored scraps on this page, I thought it would be really fun to color block with each of the colors of this collection, especially because this eight and a half by 11 will be matted on that multicolor floral that incorporates all the colors together. So that's what I'm really hoping to do. It was a little bit of a challenge because I am trying to exclusively work with scraps other than that 12 by 12 background. Around. So I'm really trying to find pieces that are large enough in each of the colors from uh, the scraps I've accumulated. So you can kind of see where I'm trying to piece it together. I kind of think this scrap of pink will work. I have a, a piece of blue that's large enough. Um, I think the yellow might be large enough. The blue gingham for sure isn't wide enough, but I'm thinking um, where that band is going to be. Uh, I will just make sure either my photo or embellishment kind of covers any gap or any seam. So I'm trimming this piece down. This is going to be my pink block. And I'm kind of taking the length that this uh, piece is as my guide for trimming all of the other bits. And then if I need to trim down a little bit more after that, I can. Um, but I really felt like this size would be a good uh, size to replicate four times and kind of fill up that eight and a half by 11. So I have my pink scrap there. Um, I do have two pieces of this gingham. So if I need to piece it together to create this width, I can. I just need to be cognizant of maybe covering up the seam with embellishment at some point. I definitely have enough of this green, but I really didn't want to trim out a horizontal chunk of it. Um, because I feel like that's not an efficient way to use that scrap. So I'm going to try and trim off a side of the green. So I'm taking a smaller bit and again, just having any kind of gap that creates covered by my photo. So even though I'm working with scraps and leftovers, I'm still trying to be a little bit frugal. I'm still hoping to get a couple more pages out of this collection. <laughs> um, but I do have my chunk of yellow, my chunk of pink. Those will work really well. Um, like I said, with the green and the blue, I'm really going to try <laughs> and use these smaller pieces and make them look like they're the size of these other ones. But I do have this vertical uh, four by six. Yes, that's a four by six, six by four. I don't know. I have that vertical photo there. <laughs> so I am thinking that will be enough to cover any kind of gap that may form with this green piece here. But I just really wanted to be <laughs> um, smart about the way I used that scrap so I had as much of it left over for future pages as possible. But I'm liking how this is laying out. Now I just kind of need to figure out the spacing. I want there to be an equal amount of spacing around the outside. And then I just want to make sure the four pieces of paper are equally spaced uh, down the page. So it just takes me a minute to kind of make sure those are laying properly. Um, I'm really excited to do color blocked embellishment on this one because that's not something I often get to do. And a lot of times that uses a lot of embellishment, but because this is an eight and a half by 11, I kind of don't need huge embellishment clusters. So I thought it'd be nice just to use a couple um, color blocked embellishments in each section as I went down. <laughs> and a huge part of that is going to be the cardstock stickers that I have plenty of. So that'll be nice, but I kind of have my blocks of color scraps and embellishment to the left there. So I'm just going to try and use little bits and pieces in each area that coordinates with the color. <laughs> and I'm really excited about that concept. As soon as I saw this sketch, I was like, I am totally going to try and do color blocking. Um, so I'm just starting with trying to get the background down. Um, if I haven't already, I don't think I have. I'll trim my photo down a little bit and then mat it on some white. I just wanted to give myself a little bit more room since this is a smaller layout. I did kind of want to trim my photo down a little bit just to give me some more space. I am trimming up this pocket card. I'm fussy cutting this element that says love this in green. I thought that could go in my green section. I'll fussy cut that even more. I kind of left a big border on it in case I wanted to use it like that. But as I kept going, I thought it'd be better with a skinnier white border. Um, I'm going in here with the yellow. I actually do have a tab in the yellow color scheme, 
but because it's white with small yellow polka dots, I kind of felt like it got lost on the background. So I switched to using a black and white grid branding strip um, with that leftover home sentiment that I saved from a pocket card and that little polka dot uh, chipboard tab I think will look really cute in that cluster. So that's kind of what I'm starting with there. Um, at the bottom in the blue section I really wanted to pull in uh, at least one of the blue floral elements so I'm pulling in that tiny little frame with the blue floral on it <laughs> um, as well as the little um, notebook paper embellishment so I can do a little bit of journaling and a home sweet home chipboard piece. And then I'm just kind of moving everything around. In my pink section, I have a floral chipboard piece with a uh, pink pattern paper scrap. <laughs> so I'm also going through the sticker sheet to see if there's anything I can use. I don't think I use anything from the sticker sheet actually on this one um, because I kind of use more of scraps instead. But this is where I trim down the green love this piece a little bit more. Um, I definitely need more in the green section, but I do want my title to be in the same area theirs are. So I'm kind of thinking my title will go across um, either the like the bottom part of the green, top part of the blue. Uh, so I don't need a whole lot of embellishment in that area if my title's going there. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, I want to beef out some of these clusters a little bit. So I am taking a scrap of this uh, chapter number pocket card, which is this light pink grid and trimming that into a little tag shape. Um, I kind of wanted the interesting corners of the tag without it being a tag. So I'm not punching a hole or doing a hole reinforcer or twine or anything, but I figured that would give me a little bit more space for journaling. Um, so I kind of like how all of these different colored clusters are looking. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna start gluing stuff down here pretty soon. I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do for my title. Um, but I got my Happy Meal from Lisa with all these beautiful little cut files and one of them she sent me was a golden retriever silhouette and it says golden through the golden retriever <laughs> and there's some letters that come with it to kind of form a title piece that says life is golden and I knew as soon as I got them they had to go on Billy pages and this is the first Billy page that I did after getting her Happy Mail so <laughs> I was like so happy to have them. So here's this piece here. I'm so obsessed with it. I really wanted to back the golden retriever in the mustard yellow. That way the golden is a gold color, but it was really throwing my eye because the whole point of this design was to do this color blocking. Um, and the yellow uh, pattern papers that I had were really busy and I didn't really have a solid yellow um, in the size I needed to back this. So I decided just to back it in the navy. It's going on top of the navy color blocked area anyways. Uh, and that looks a lot nicer. It makes it way more legible. It kind of throws my eye a little bit that the word golden is in a navy. <laughs> um, but at least you can read it and it goes with the color design of the page. So I love that. I'm so obsessed with this little golden retriever cut file. Um, <laughs> I have a couple more to use, but I was so, so happy to get this one used up on my next page. So I'm just trimming off the excess of this navy here. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Uh, and I'm also going to use the cut file life that she sent with it and then for the life is part that is I'm just going to pull in some green small freckled fawn tile stickers so I love the mix and match tile <laughs> title <laughs> but this golden retriever like just makes the page it is so so cute and I am going to pop the golden up on some foam as well so it has some dimension but I love that it fills out that space really really nicely um and it kind of solves my issue with needing more in the green section because the life is will be on the green. <laughs> and so after the love this and the chipboard hearts, I'll end up adding the whole green section is kind of done. So I really, really like that. But I'm popping this whole golden up on some foam. <laughs> I love it so much. And then uh, once I kind of have the spacing of my title correct, I'll go through and glue down each of my little embellishment clusters. But I really love this color blocking design. <laughs> And um, this title was just so, so perfect for this page. This page, I should probably mention, Billy was uh, four months old in this picture and it was on one of my roommate outing days. So me and my roommates kind of went out and we went, you know, grocery shopping, Target. We went to Sonic for lunch. So this photo was actually at the Sonic. <laughs> we took a picture of Billy posing by the speaker where we order. <laughs> and I just thought it was really cute. I really love taking Billy everywhere. I have a lot of 
like uh, social related anxiety. <laughs> so Billy, in a lot of ways, even though I was supposed to be his trainer for the Guide Dog Foundation, ended up being my emotional support animal. Um, and even after I got him back, he has been my emotional support animal <laughs> for the past nine years. So uh, I really wanted to kind of note that in my journaling, that having him with me really helped me be more social in school, on campus, in class, uh, any kind of thing like that, because a lot of the conversation uh, to me uh, is more about Billy, people asking about the program, asking about him, which I'm a lot more comfortable talking about than myself. <laughs> uh, so I, I really loved having Billy with me and being able to take him everywhere, um, because not only did he get this very important fundamental uh, training and socialization for the guide dog program, but he helped me in a lot of ways too. So I really wanted to note that on this page. And now I'm just trying to get together all of my little clusters here. I really liked how the pink cluster was as is. So I'm going to try and stick that back down how it was. Um, I'll get my title kind of spaced out. I do add, um, I have one fringy scallop left and it's in the yellow. So I do end up using a piece of that in my yellow cluster, but I'm not quite there yet. Um, but I did want to beef that one out a little bit, but I'm really happy with how the other clusters look. There is a very subtle seam on the navy gingham layer. Um, you really couldn't tell because the pattern lined up, but either way I was doing a cluster in that area. So I did just make sure my cluster covered the seam. That way I just didn't have to worry about it. Um, and I really like that. And um, I really do like in a couple areas for my embellishment to run off the page since I do know it is going to be matted on a 12 by 12. But obviously if I was doing this for an eight and a half by 11 album, I would have made sure all of those were <laughs> in frame. Um, but I really like when I mat it on a 12 by 12 for a couple elements to kind of overflow onto the background. Um, just so it seems a little bit more cohesive. So the golden's tail will go off a little bit. <laughs> the yellow chipboard tag will go off a little bit. Um, and I kind of like that. Uh, but now I'm trying to reevaluate what else I need for my clusters to kind of finish them up. This is where I decide to go back and add a little piece of this yellow fringe, which I think is super cute and was kind of the perfect touch to uh, kind of complete that little cluster. I'm really, really happy I got that home sentiment used up. And this was another one of the pages. I thought I was going to do this on pages with Marcus, but it works the same with Billy, where I very much feel like if I'm with him, I'm home and I'm more comfortable when I have him. And um, so I'm kind of using the home sweet home elements on these pages, even though I'm not at home. Uh, because I'm with Billy. So I'm kind of using it in that context. Um, so hopefully that's not too confusing. Um, but I'm just using this branding strip, the remaining part of that pocket card and this little tab here for that cluster. And then I will trim that excess off. And I think I'm almost done. I need to do my journaling and add my chipboard hearts. And then I, I'll show you, I'll mat it on the um, background too. So you can see what it looks like after it's on the 12 by 12. But I think I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for my journaling. I do just take a blue pen and journal on the, the blue section with the blue pen and on the pink section with the pink pen. <laughs> so my journaling here at the bottom has the date. This was October 15th of 2011. It just said I'm so much more comfortable going out when I can bring you with. And then on the pink section, I did just want to note, it's obvious we're at Sonic because you can see the Sonic ordering board there. But I did just want to note that this was our roommate outing day. Um... So on the pink, I just kind of did some tone on tone journaling that just says roommate outing day, just so I could remember. Um, but that that explains it to me. I'll know what I mean by that because <laughs> we don't have our roommate outing days very often. So this is one of them. Um, but that's my journaling. I am going to do the tone on tone embellishing with these chipboard hearts. So I'm super happy that we have so many different colored hearts here. You can really see when it goes on this navy background. I love how this looks. <laughs> um, I will gut a huge check section of this blue, which you already saw. I used that scrap on my scrap five earlier in the month. Um, the piece that I am saving now. <laughs> I had to save that huge chunk because I had pretty much an eight and a half by 11 scrap there <laughs> that I have for a future page now. Um, so I'm just going to save that. I do back it on some of my black paper from my stash. Um, and then I'll kind of glue down the eight and a half by 11 before I finish this up. But really the only thing I have to do is uh, add those chipboard hearts. So I add two hearts in their coordinating colors to each color blocked section. 
and the two colors that have two tone hearts I just make sure I use both of them so there's a light blue and a dark blue a light pink and a dark pink so in those sections I kind of use one of each <laughs> but even on the green and the yellow even though it's the same color green and yellow I do too I really like the repetition of the cluster of two hearts in each section so that's going to fill out my little embellishment clusters a little bit <laughs> And I think that looks super cute. I have, I'm going to probably for sure have leftover chipboard hearts, um, but there's such a good variety of versatile colors that will go with any other Felicity Jane collection. I'm not too beat up about it because I know I can use those as finishing touches and embellishments on other <laughs> Felicity Jane kits I have. Um, I didn't really have a design I wanted to do this month like I did with the hexagons that really could use half a sheet like the other one did. Um, and I use hearts way more than hexagons, so I know those will get used up. But here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out everyone else using uh, this sketch for Stretch the Sketch to see what they did with it. They will be linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.